Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> oh my God, welcome back to my wellness journey vlogs. Holy crap, it's been like six months. <sighs> We're just gonna ignore that. Let's talk about it. Let's freaking talk about it. I think that the biggest life change that I have had since I last vlogged was that I moved states. Never thought I would do that. Always been a California girl. Never wanted to leave California. Never uh, could think of a reason why I would. Um, my family's there, my friends are there. I love it there. <laughs> have everything I need kind of thing, you know? But then I met someone who inspired me to broaden my horizons if you will. Basically, uh, he said he wanted to move back to Colorado because he had lived here previously. And he asked me to go with him. And I was like, well, you know, I can't live without you. So I guess I'm moving to Colorado. <laughs> um, I thought that it was good because as you guys know, I've talked about it a lot in this series that I was just kind of like in a rut. I felt really stuck. I felt really like cloudy and you know, just like not having a good time. I was in a really weird spot in my life because like I had just graduated college. I felt like I had no sense of purpose anymore. I was just doing the same thing every day, going to the same bar, seeing the same people. And I just like looked around and realized that no one around me really, I don't wanna say no one because there are a select few people in my life who work towards things and you know, have, ambitions and things like that but like the majority of the people were just so content just staying in this small dead-end town not doing anything and I was like I, I don't want that to be me and honestly like I couldn't afford my own place in California anymore like it just wasn't doable like everything was so expensive like <sighs> So I was like, this actually came at the perfect time. So I was like, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. All of my stuff was still in storage, so um, yeah, let me let me take you guys through the moving process because yeah, it was a, it was a doozy. It was a freaking doozy. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me Stay the night Oh, miss your flight Walk through the rain with me Get soaked to the skin, feel free Shut the world out Let's hang out In Colorado um, we originally moved to this one spot that was like in the middle of nowhere a lot of you guys have already heard me talk about this but we were basically living on a mountain um, it was a 10 minute drive up the mountain just to get to our house it was a 10 minute drive to any civilization and when I say civilization I mean this town was smaller than my hometown um, and then it was like 40 minutes to 40 to 45 minutes to like the nearest Walmart, the nearest Target, all that stuff. 
So it was such a pain to do anything, but honestly, I was like, cause we didn't look at the house in person before we moved, we were just relying on pictures and I was like, what if I hate it? What if it's the worst house ever, we're getting catfished? Um, so we convinced the landlord to give us a six month lease. So we stayed there for six months. It honestly felt like a six month long vacation in the mountains, it was great. I experienced snowfall for the first time. I experienced, you know, shoveling our driveway. Um, <laughs> all of the fun stuff that comes with snow, I was able to experience it. And as a California girl, like, it hasn't snowed in my hometown in like hundreds of years. So, um, oh, big moment for me, big high. moment. Here, our second rescue of this house. My boyfriend had gotten a job offer in this new area that we are in now. We ended up moving again after six months, okay? And this was almost a month ago. Almost a month ago we've been here. Um, so he got a job offer here, too good to pass up, and I wanted to be in civilization again. So we ended up moving to like the opposite side of Colorado, which is kind of cool because I'm like getting to explore this entire state almost. And... Um, yeah, it's just really nice that like I work from home so I can live wherever I want. So if we ever want to go like explore a different part of the world, we totally can do that. But we have both agreed that we don't want to move for a very, very long time. So <laughs> um, I'm really putting my heart and soul into this house that we're in now. I can't wait to give you guys a house tour. I absolutely will. I didn't end up giving a house tour at the last house we were in because honestly, like I didn't fully feel like we moved into that house because it was only a six month lease. We didn't know if we were gonna stay. So I don't know. It wasn't really me. Like it didn't really have my personality at all. We kind of just lived there. Like we didn't actually live there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, this house is dope. It's super close to Denver, which is the biggest city in Colorado, I think. So um, yeah, if we ever want to go and do something, it's like a quick ass car ride. You know what I mean? So. We've only been here for a month and I'm already so much happier. Because we were so busy with all of that, my wellness journey stuff fell off really hard. Um, I <laughs> ended up gaining more weight. Now that the holidays are over and all that jazz, I have no excuse to not get back into my routine, which is, you know, taking my vitamins, drinking my greens, uh, my apple cider vinegar, working out, doing my skincare, cause I was slacking on like all of that guys. I was kind of just self-sabotaging because of stress, I think. Uh, I don't really know, but <laughs> now that we're in this house, I definitely feel happier and more motivated to get my shit together. I have a lot of time on my hands now because he's at work eight hours a day when in this old house we both worked from home, so all we wanted to do was hang out with each other. <laughs> it was just, I don't know, it was fun for a time, but it was not um, sustainable, realistic for the rest of our lives, at least not right now. That was like retirement vibes that we were doing. Yeah, he works eight hours a day now, so I work eight hours a day now. I take care of like the house, the cleaning, and then I work during the day. It's weird, cause you know, I'm just so used to being surrounded by my family, being able to call my friends and hang out with them when I need to, and I don't have that here. And I am still adjusting, unfortunately. It's gonna take some time. 
And I'm really hoping I can make some friends too, but I'm terrible at making friends. I really am. But yeah, I was just using this uh, vlog to kind of come back from my hiatus. I will be uploading another vlog very soon um, and I'll show you guys the house. I'll show you what I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm very excited to be back, back to vlogging again. I like had to dust off my vlog camera, <laughs> like literally dust it off. <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, anyways, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.